Hi. In this video, we're going to address the chain rule of differentiation for calculus. And the chain rule states that d dx, or the derivative with respect to x, of f of g of x. So, again, just for notation pieces here, this is a function f, and every time that there was an x, we replaced a new function g of x. So f of g of x is equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x. If you notice here, we're going to end up with both the function g of x in this problem and its derivative explicitly stated in our, in our new derivative. So it's f prime times g of x times g prime of x. Maybe the simplest way for me to explain this to you is for us to look at a composition. So let's say that f of x is equal to x to the fifth power. And let's say that g of x is equal to 5x squared plus 3x. In this case, f, the expression f of g of x would lead us to start with f, and every time we see x in the f of x function, we're going to insert g of x. Okay, so that's, that's what that entire notation means. So looking at the f of x function, it's simply x to the fifth. So instead of x, we replace that with 5x squared plus 3x to the fifth power. This is now something, you know, f of x was something to the fifth power. And now it's this specific something. It's the g of x function to the fifth power. f prime of g of x. Okay, so looking at differentiating here. f prime of g of x is really, if we take f prime of x, we see that that's going to be 5 times x to the fourth. But again, f prime of g of x, every time in the f prime function that we see x, we're going to reinsert g of x. So, if we're looking to differentiate, okay, so it's equal to this differentiation, which gives me 5 times, instead of x, again, it's this entire piece here, so that's 5x squared plus 3x to the fourth power. So that takes care of our entire first term here. And then we have to multiply that times the derivative of what's inside. And the derivative of what's inside is actually g prime of x. And g prime is equal to 10x plus 3. So that's all we need to multiply by. 10x plus 3. You might notice this as the general power rule. Anytime we have f of x to the r power, and we're looking to take derivatives with respect to x, it's going to be r times f of x to the r minus 1 times f prime of x. And so chain rule in itself is one of the first rules that you probably learned when taking calculus. Now we simply apply it to these new pieces. For a more advanced example, watch the next video.